Good morning, everybody. Hope everybody's having a great day. Another beautiful day in Arizona. Let's get right to it. Take a sip here and we'll... Actually, you know what? This isn't a question um, today. I'm going to redo the video from um, Coffee and Questions on 721. That was on the types of woods that I use. Um, and I, I was going and reviewing it, and it was really dark because I was in the shadow, so I wanted to redo that one. So, uh, the types of woods that I use. This is the cedar fencing. This is unfinished, obviously, and ha I haven't sanded it yet. When I use this, this is what I use for most of my small signs. Uh, again, I pick the, uh, the side that would be the best for my face and then I just sand it with the grain and I leave the back uh, rough because of the thickness. I leave the back rough and I only sand the back when the sign is all finished anyway. So that's the cedar fencing that I use. Um, secondly, if I have a, a little bit bigger sign that's 1 by 12 or a little bit less than that, if it's in between 1 by 6 and 1 by 12, then I use the select pine. We tried to wait until all the cars went by, but that didn't work. So this is uh, Select Pine, and I, you probably can't tell, but this has uh, already has the sanding sealer on it. Uh, well, you could probably tell by the edge. You can see the drips because it was a brush on. So um, like you guys know, or many of you do, as soon as I get my pine back to the shop, I put the sanding sealer on and then just put it up in the rack. So anyway, 1 by 12, like 6 by 20, or 12 by 24s, anything around that size, 12 by 36s, 48s. Uh, I use that. Now, if it becomes a bigger board, then I have a couple different things that I'll use. Actually, three more different types. If it's a, a, a larger sign, and I need it to be a little bit thicker, if, or like if it's going to be two signs, then I take and uh, I use uh, redwood. I either laminate two by fours or two by sixes or a combination of the both. Edge laminate them together. And again, there's uh, several um, of my YouTube videos that show me doing that. So that's and it's just basically uh, con heart redwood that uh, uh, I use a jointer to joint down the edges and then uh, make a nice edge uh, and uh, edge laminate those together. So that would be one choice for bigger boards. Uh, the second choice would be not this one, but this. This is that panel board that I use. Get this at Lowe's generally. So it's laminated pieces, but this is the one that I would put the plywood backer on because I don't trust any laminations unless I do them. So I would never use this without putting the backer board on it. So, um, and it, again, you can check out the YouTube channel and there's plenty of stuff in there where, where I'm uh, laminated backer board on this panel board. The, these can come, gosh, I think they're uh, up to three foot wide. By like six foot long so those make really nice signs too that that by the way also is pine so I would use sanding sealer on that and then last but not least this is perfect plank this I buy from a company called perfect plank out of California they take small pieces of western red cedar and then they um, they glue edge laminate them together and they can make big huge boards so again perfectplank.com you can uh, see their stuff. The only drawback to this is that it's fairly expensive, but man, when it has a finish on it, it looks spectacular. A lot of my signs, my big signs, I make out of this stuff if I have the material to do it. So generally, I have to order a bunch of material at a time in order to get it cheap enough to ship where I can then start to uh, and make big boards out of this or make big signs out of it. Okay. Man, I'm talking fast this morning. This is my second cup of coffee, and I don't, almost always have just one, so now I'm just, like, I'm racing. Anyway, <laughs> have some coffee, everybody, and uh, make some sawdust. Have a great day, and we will see you on the next one. Bye.